is everyone. Um, this is just a quick video of um, what I wanted to do was compare uh, wattage consumption of different types of light bulbs. Um, and the reason um, the reason I'm doing this is because I bought this little uh, watt meter uh, from Lowe's, and it you know it just measures amps or watts. And uh, just for the heck of it, I, I tried just a regular 60 watt equivalent um, CFL bulb, which was advertised at like 13 watts, and I found it to be consuming much more than that. So then I thought, well, how truthful are these light bulb manufacturers being with their uh, watt consumption ratings? So that's where this... Uh, that's where this whole test came about. And uh, so what I've done is I went I went to down to the store, actually a couple different stores, and bought the three major types of light bulbs. We have uh, just regular incandescent, 60 and 100 watt equivalents. Uh, CFLs, which are the uh, complex flu compact fluorescent lights. Of course, it's not going to focus now. 60 and 100 watt equivalents and LED bulbs, light emitting diodes, uh, 60 and 100 watt equivalents. Now, a thing about equivalents, um, for you know, manufacturers just decided to make it, uh, make their bulbs wattages equivalent to their lumens or something. Oh, there's Gus, my assistant, he's ever so helpful. Hang on a second, I gotta remove him. All right, stay. Thank you. Um, they seem to equate their uh, wattage equivalent to lumens because back in the days, uh, when, when it was just incandescent light bulbs, a 60 watt light bulb was 60 watts. That's how much watts it consumed. But now, even the incandescent ones are a little bit more supposedly they're more energy efficient than their predecessors meaning they they put them out the they put out the same amount of light but use less wattage like for instance this 60 watt equivalent bulb only uses 43 watts this 100 watt bulb only uses 72 watts and so on and so forth with the other ones but uh what i've compiled here is i just made a uh, little uh uh spreadsheet and I'm going to record all of the, uh, I'm going to record all of the, uh, consumptions that these bulbs take. So we'll start with the, uh, start with the incandescent ones first. Okay. So this is a 60 watt or well, 60 watt equivalent incandescent bulb. And it's supposed to consume 43 watts. We are at 41. So just a couple of watts shy, but not bad. All right, so this is the 100 watt equivalent incandescent. It's supposed to consume 72 watts. Let's see what we're at. 69. Only a few watts shy, but a little, you know, just a few less than advertised. 68. Okay, now we're at the uh, 60 watt equivalent CFL, and this one consumes 13 watts. Let's see. Let's see what this one's putting out. 35 watts. That's a lot more than advertised. All right, this one is the 100 watt equivalent CFL. And this one's supposed to consume 23 watts. 75 watts. That's like a mid-range incandescent bulb. 76. That's substantial. 78, 79, 80. Wow. Okay, now we're moving into the LED bulbs. 
and this one is a 60 watt equivalent excuse me 60 watt equivalent LED that's supposed to consume 8.5 watts let's see 35 36 that's what four times more than advertised unreal the final one is the uh, 100 watt equivalent LED bulb and this one's supposed to consume 16 watts well now that's strange because this one is putting out 18 watts which is not far off at all that is very strange because the other the uh, 60 watt equivalent uh, LED was doing what was it 35 36 so this one's almost right on the money I find that very strange okay so I just uh, wrote down all the uh, watt consumptions and the I added up I uh, calculated the uh, lumens per watt and the clear winner is the 100 watt LED that is actually pretty faithful to its uh, to its uh, advertised watt consumption. It's only uh, two watts over its advertised watt consumption, as opposed to like the uh, CFLs and the uh, smaller LED. The uh, incandescent ones are pretty faithful. They're just a few shy of their advertised watt consumptions. So when you uh, get when you uh, calculate the lumens per watt, the clear winner is the 100 watt equivalent LED bulb. That's very strange. Still, I find that uh, there's such a discrepancy between the two uh, LED bulb versions. But you know, I'm assuming that this thing doesn't lie. But you know, this is a this is also very uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a very scientific test by any means, but uh, it's just a little something I thought I'd do. Um, if you guys have any theories as to you know as to uh, any of the findings, please uh, uh, please comment below. Um, I, I'm I'm interested to hear what you people think. But that's all for now. You guys have a good day.